Hello all my crafty mamas. Welcome back for another tutorial. Um, pardon the noise, my um, window unit air conditioner is on. So it's going to be a little loud in the background, but unfortunately it's toasty here, so I kind of need the air conditioner. Now, um, some of you saw my tutorial on how to make the uh, tool poof and wanted to know how you could make it out of scraps, like this pile. So this tutorial will show you how to do that. Um, like the other one, you're going to need a bunch of tool scraps and a piece to tie it off with. You're also going to need your spool that you have cut out. Um, for those of you who haven't seen the first tutorial, um, this spool is made out of a spool like this. You cut the center out, both sides. Um, I recommend using the 3 8 ribbon spool. It'll give you a nice full poof like this. So you need your tool, the piece to tie it off with, the uh, cutout spool, you're going to need a sharp pair of scissors, and I also recommend two alligator clips. This will help you clip your tool. Um, working with scraps, you're going to need to clip it frequently because if the scraps are small, you're going to have multiple pieces. So to start off with, take a piece of tool, put it up against the spool like so, wrap alternating sides on the starting piece. Um, unfortunately mine stops here so I get another piece. Come back, start on the opposite side where I would have started, yeah, where I would have continued had the uh, piece been long enough. Oh, it's very important when you're doing the scrap ones like this that you remember where you've left off because you have to make them even in order to make the tool poof look right. Okay, now here's where the alligator clips come in handy. After about two pieces of scrap, you're going to want to start clipping it together. Remember to clip close to the top of the spool to leave plenty of room in the middle. If you have trouble separating it, slip your finger between the two, the front and the back, and then slide the clip up against your finger, pull it down close to the uh, spool, and then you can start again. And you just keep going. Always remember to alternate your sides. By alternating sides, you give the even appearance. Um, with each piece, you're going to want to slide the clips out and reclip them. I know it seems like a very tedious thing to keep doing, but it'll save you having to hold all of those pieces. Remember, clip close to the spool. You want to leave as much room in the middle as possible. Five times on each side should be good. I've got my tool caught. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna add just a little bit more because I don't think this quite looks as full as it could be. Keep wrapping. When you hit the ends, pull the clips out and reclip again. You want to keep your hands free to tie because trying to manage all of this and tie at the same time is pain. Remember, clip close to this bowl. Okay, now that you have that done, take your piece that you're going to tie with. <laughs> it keeps sticking together, guys, sorry. Bring it up through one side from the back. Remember to wrap all the way around the back. It helps hold it all together. Okay. Now, remember to keep your knot in the center. If you don't keep it in the center, your poof will be lopsided and look really weird. Okay, tie it tight because this is all that is keeping your poof together is this top, this piece that you're tying. Double knot it. Again, tight. Okay, now that you've tied it together and you don't need the clips anymore, pull the clips out and put them aside. Now comes the cutting part. I'm going to part all the tools so you can see this. Take your scissors, slide them along, yeah, in along the this middle piece right here. Slide it under the layer of tool. Might take a few minutes to get it to work in like that. Cut. Flip the uh, spool over. Slide your scissors in first. Then pull that center knot down so that it's tight. Make your cut. Put your spool aside. Now you have tons of uneven pieces. Just clip. Make sure to clip everything even because if you have uneven little pieces, it, your poof is going to look really. It's going to look. It's going to look bad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know exactly quite the word to use for this. Pardon me. Um, so just clip. Okay. Hold the center knot and fluff your poof. You'll find as you fluff there will be more uneven bits. That's fine. You just come around. And clip them. Like this. Keep fluffing as you go. Remember to hold the center knot in place. It keeps the tool from sliding out as you pull. Uh, if you find you aren't holding it tight enough and some of the tool has slipped, you can come over and just gently tug. Pull it until it's even. Remember to clip all of the straggling uneven pieces as you go. 
you want this poof to be as uniform as possible. It'll look neat. And it actually looked like you spent more time on it than the five, ten minutes it took you to make this. Okay? Now, my last tutorial, I couldn't show you the front and the back to it because the way I tied the knot. This would be the back where you can see where it's flat here. It'll help you attach the clip to it. Okay. As I said in my other tutorial, you can use these for hair clips. You can use them for tutus, fairy ones. You can use them for just about anything. As long as you have an imagination, you can come up with a use for them. Um, so I'm hoping you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make it out of scrap pieces. Um, just remember, the more scrap, the shorter your scrap pieces are, the more pieces you will have to use in order to get the the uh, poof. Um, my pieces are a little on the long side because I always end up cutting more pieces than I need for a tutu, even though I swear I measure them. I, 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 so. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy it. Please leave a comment down below. Um, let me know if there's any more tutorials you want to see. I have a tutorial in the works to show you how to use these empty spools to make gorgeous, lovely displays for your clips, your hair bows, everything like that. Um, like I said, if you have a tutorial request, leave a comment and I'll try to do it. Thanks.